so in this video let's discuss a problem from electromagnetic theory so this problem is related to the electric force acting on a point charge and electric field intensity acting on that point charge due to other point charges especially in the form of a vector not but not in a scalar form that means uh, not just uh, we are not just going to find the magnitude but we are just going to find them in the form of a vector because electric field and uh, force acting on that are uh, vectors so so here point charges one milli coulombs and minus 2 milli coulombs are located at 3 comma 2 comma minus 1 1 minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 4 respectively so they are how in the question they have given us uh, about uh, two point charges and 1 and minus 2 milli coulombs and their location their point of location in the three dimensional space was also men mentioned that is x y z coordinates uh, calculate the electric force on 10 nano coulomb charge locator had 0 comma 3 comma 1 and the electric field intensity had that point so we need to calculate the electric force on this 10 nano coulombs charge so uh, because of this uh, 2 1 milli coulomb and that is because of these two charges 1 1 milli coulomb and minus 2 milli coulomb how much force they exert on this uh, 10 nano coulomb that one we need to observe here so it is just like a uh, the uh, suppose here in this two dimensional space here one charge is there here one charge is there some q1 and q2 and here some q charge is there so how much electric force is acting on this particular charge because of these two charges and electric uh, field how much is there uh, that so that one like that so but this is in three dimensional space so in three dimensional space we need to find out uh, that uh, electric force and field acting at that point so the process is as follows so first of all we need to write down the formula for electric force so that is nothing but 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square so actually it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square so q1 q2 by r square so this is the form of the force acting so this is just uh, not a vectorial form this is just a scalar form so it does not give any and uh, give us any idea about the direction of the force acting on that it just gives us the information about the magnitude of force acting so this is the actual formula but here here you can see 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught uh, as usual q and qk qk means uh, actually so here actually we need to find force acting on this particular charge because of these two charges charge 1 and charge 2 so this is just like the test charge so here in the same manner here q is nothing but the charge acting on that uh, particular charge we need to find charge or uh, q is the charge of that particular point charge and q k is are nothing but uh, remaining charges which are exerting force on that particular charge so that is charge of those charges so that is the meaning of q and qk and a or cap this is nothing but unit vector in the direction of position vector so this is the unit vector so this only uh, this uh, so finally this could be written so this is written in this form so here we are just having r square in the denominator so so here we are just having r square in the denominator just like this r square but uh, if we multiply and divide with r and r 
so he this one would become r cube so that is this r cube r cube is nothing but magnitude that is the distance distance of that particular charge from those two charges so from r1 charge and sorry is from q1 charge and q2 charge like that so that is that is nothing but r minus rk rk is nothing but r1 r2 like that so that is just the magnitude so uh, if we multiply this magnitude with this unit vector we would get that uh, direction of that uh, position vector so that is nothing but r minus rk so here so actually what is happening is here magnitude of the uh, distance of that particular charge so of that particular test charge from the other two charges so that is given so that one multiplied with this uh, unit vector in the direction of unit vector so if we just multiply this we would get so just like uh, a position vector if we have a, some position vector that could be written as magnitude of that position vector into unit vector in the direction of that position vector so that is the case we have followed here so on multiplying with r and r in the numerator and denominator so this is uh, nothing but this r minus rk so that this position vector so that is the about this formula so next next what we have is so we just need to substitute all the values given in the question in the in this formula so here two charges were given first because of two charges on that particular charge so k is nothing but equal to 1 and 2 so this q by 4 pi epsilon naught is taken aside because it is common now uh, for uh, first charge so first charge so first charge is so here r minus rk is given so this is the first charge so one coulomb one milli coulomb so one milli coulomb means milli means 10 to the power of minus 3 coulombs so 10 to the power of minus 3 coulombs and uh, distance between this charge and that one milli coulomb so this is the position vector of 10 nano coulombs and this is the position vector of uh, one milli coulombs so just uh, separating them both so what is the meaning of this 3 2 one, minus 1 it is just like 3 i cap so 3 i cap plus 2 j cap minus k cap so that is the meaning of this so the third position vector so similarly here also uh, 3 j cap plus uh, k cap like that because uh, 0 into i cap is 0 so like that if we just we just need to separate them both r1 minus r2 just like we do so some particular point is at a distance of some particular points position vector is r1 and some particular points position vector is r2 so r1 minus r2 like that to find the distance vector and direction direction and um, distance between those two points so like that only here r1 minus r2 like that here uh, this one minus this two the positions minus position so uh, first of all here we need to take 0 3 comma 1 so 0 3 1 that one minus this 3 2 minus 1 so 3 2 minus 1 so subtracting those two positions and uh, divided by so r minus rk is nothing but r minus r1 so divided by magnitude its magnitude so how much we are getting and next thing is in the similar manner this minus 2 milli coulomb uh, so minus 2 minus 2 here we are having into 10 to the power of minus 3 and distance between them both so 0 3 1 minus 1 minus 1 4 minus 1 minus 1 0 3 1 minus 1 minus 1 4 and the magnitude of separation between them so based on this formula so magnitude of separation so summation is there so only two charges are there so first charge and second charge so that's why we are having that and next here uh, so uh, we just need to substitute the values uh, here 10 to the power of minus 3 is taken as common so here 10 to the power of minus 3 and q we know that it is 10 nano coulombs one nano is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 9 coulombs so 10 into 10 to the power of minus 9 and we know that uh, actually 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is nothing but 9 into 10 to the power of 9 
so here what they have did is uh, they have substituted in place of epsilon naught so we just send this epsilon naught that side means uh, so and sending this 9 into the power of 9 this side means so it would come in to the denominator so it would become 1 by 4 pi into 9 and that is 36 pi into 10 to the power of 9 so that is nothing but epsilon naught one by that is pi into the number of nine so that would go in the uh, numerator so 10 to the number of minus 9 it would be so like this we are gonna get so uh, or else we can just simply write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is nothing but 9 into the number of 9 so they have made here com com calculation a little bit complex so even if we cancel out for 9 and 10 to the number of minus 9 so that one would get cancelled so Actually here known here they have completed the calculation so we can just simply replace 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught with 9 into the number of 9 so then also this both would get cancelled so it's just a simple case so next thing is this so here uh, 0 minus 3 minus 3 in same manner 3 minus 2 1 so 1 minus of minus 1 that is 1 plus 1 2 so same like that here also and here we can see so what we will get this after subtracting its magnitude is nothing but square root of x square plus y square plus z square so x square minus 3 square that is 9 and 1, 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 4 so 10 plus 14 so like that we are getting so here also the same 0 minus of minus 1 so 0 plus 1 like that 3 minus of minus 1 that is 3 plus 1 4 1 minus 4 that is minus 3 so like this we are getting so like that and the difference so that is nothing but this magnitude square 1 square plus 4 square plus 9 1 that is 1 square is nothing but 1 4 square is nothing but 16 3 square is number nine so that it's magnitude and here three is there so actually we will get square root of so magnitude is nothing but uh, magnitude of a position vector is nothing but square root of x square plus y square plus z square like that we are going to get so that one whole cube is nothing but uh, already this is one by two whole power three means three by two so that's why we are having three by two that one is very another important thing you need to keep an eye on so finally so this is same as this so this this we are getting so if we do calculation uh, 9 plus 1 10 plus 4 that is 14 whole the power of 3 by 2 could, uh, 3 by 2 could be written as 1 plus half so 14 power 1 into root 14 and here also the same 9 plus 1 10 plus 16 26 so we are going to get this and here 2 is getting multiplied because we are having uh, this minus 2 milli coulombs because of that so 2 ones are minus so actually minus 2 into 1 so minus 2 minus 2 into 4 minus 8 minus 2 into minus 3 is 6 2 3 is a 6 so like that so this is the thing we are gonna, gonna going to get so here so f is finally is nothing but uh, is of this form so so if we just multiply with this 9 inside and if we actually so we just need to multiply with this 9 inside with each and every term so 9 into minus 3 9 into 1 9 into 2 like that and again minus 3 divided by with this entire thing so 14 root 14 and uh, minus 2 into 9 divided by with this entire thing and adding up the that particular x that is x coordinates we would get this one so this is the x coordinate uh, that is force in x direction fx so in the similar fashion this if we multiply this with this one and uh, and if we do a simplification 9 into 10 to the power of minus 2 divided by this 14 root 14 so in the same manner this one multiply with this and uh, divided with this uh, term you will get some decimals 
and we just need to subtract those values so on subtractive you will get this minus 3.713 decimal value so in the same manner for every uh, for z coordinate of the force also so like this we are going to get this is the force in vectorial form so this is not just magnitude we are just finding this force in the form of a vector so hence we have got here uh, fx fy and fz uh, components of the force so now uh, finally we need to find electric field intensity so we know the f is equal to eq that is e is nothing but f by q so f by q so this entire thing is f from this so actually it is milli newtons so hence we are having 10 to the power of minus 3 and q is nothing but the charge the test charge so upon which the two charge two other charges are exerting force so that is 10 nanocoulomb so 10 into the power of minus 9 so upon calculation you will get this term so kilo volt per meter so this is the electric field intensity we are going to get so if we just do simplification finally we would get this terms so uh, this is the way of solving this so here actually 10 into 10 to the power of minus 9 10 to the power of minus 8 so if it goes up minus 3 plus 8 that is another 10 to the power of 5 so 10 square if we multiply inside so here point is here that is 6.512 so if we multiply with 100 651.2 like that here also minus 371.3 like that and uh, into 10 cube would be there that 10 cube is nothing but kilo so in this way we could find electric uh, that is a force and electric field intensity in this manner so this is the uh, procedure of solving this so from so this is the solution so thank you